Hello, welcome to Dharmesh Mehta YouTube channel. I hope you are doing great. In Boost Your Basic series, today we are going to learn about glass container. So let's get started. So glass is made by fusing at very high temperature and it consists of silica that is sand with two or more other elements which are soda ash and limestone and then it is cooled rapidly. So let's look at the composition of glass means what is inside the glass. So first is sand. Chemically sand is silica pure that is silicon dioxide. Then second we have soda ash that is sodium carbonate chemically Na2CO3. Then we have limestone that is calcium carbonate that is CaCO3. Lastly we have curate that are broken glass pieces. So sand acts as a base material, soda ash and limestone helps to reduce the glass transition temperature and culates that are broken glass pieces acts as fusion materials. So now we are going to study about manufacturing of glass. So first step in manufacturing is blowing. It is using compressed air and it is blown inside molten glass which is present inside cavity of metal mold. So we have metal mold inside we have molten glass and air is blown which is compressed air. The second step is drawing. Now the molten glass is pulled through dies or roller so it is giving shape to the soft glass. Third step is pressing. Mechanical force is used here and it is pressing the molten glass against the side of mold. The last step is casting. Now here we are using gravity of centrifugal force and it is forming a cast inside the cavity of mold. Now let's look at the advantages of the glass. The first advantage are there are hygienic and suitable for sterilization that is easily sterilized. Next is they are relatively non-reactive means they do not react with the material present in it. Now this depends on the grade chosen. We are going to study about the grades in the further slide. It can accept a variety of closures like a rubber closure, a metal closure. All these closures can be used for glass, even the plastic closures. They can be used on high speed packaging lines. Now glass is heavy, so that's why it is been used on high speed packaging lines. They are transparent. So patient can easily see the level of fluid inside the glass bottle. They have good protection power. They protect the pharmaceutical product present in it. They can be easily labeled. So labeling paper can be easily stick on the glass. Let's look at the disadvantages. It is relatively heavy. So it is difficult to transport. Now we all know glass is very fragile. It is easily broken. So very precautions are taken while handling glass. Release alkali to aqueous preparation. So what are the alkalis? We have studied sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate. This alkalis can be released into the formulation. So it is very harmful to use such glass materials. Now we are going to study about the types of glasses. These are the types of glasses. First is type 1 which is a borosilicate glass. This is the example of borosilicate glass. Type 2 that is soda lime treated glass. It is a modified version of type 3 glass. And this is the example. This is a vial which is used for parenteral preparations. Now type 3 is soda lime glass. The example is vial but it is not used for aqueous preparation. It is only used for solid preparation here you can see that last is type NP that is non-parental it is a soda lime glass but it is not used for parental preparation it is used for ointments and creams let's study about type 1 glass so it produces high hydrolytic resistance and it is most inert type of pharmaceutical glass that is it is not reacting with the formulation. 
it has lowest coefficient of thermal expansion means when heat is applied it is not expanding easily so it is very useful for sterilization by heat now this advantage is it has very high glass transition temperature so it is not melted easily so its processing becomes complicated and that's why it is expensive to process now uses of type 1 glasses it is suitable for all pharmaceutical preparation because it is most inert type of glass it is widely used as glass ampules and vials to package fluids for injections in contrast to other types of glasses that is type 2 type 3 this type has no or little amount of basic oxide so it is not leaching into the material that is formulation so it is used to package solution that could dissolve back oxides in the glass so what are the solution these are solutions mainly acidic in nature which can dissolve the basic oxides present in the glass so this solution can be packaged in type 1 glasses this is the example of type 1 glass it is an vial now let's learn about type 2 glass this glass has lower melting point than type 1 that is it is melted easily than type 1 thus it is easier to produce and cheaper than type 1 it has high hydrolytic resistance due to surface treatment of glass so surface treatment is done with sulfur and uh, the inner surface is treated with sulfur so that the basic oxides are not leached into the formulation the uses of type 2 glass is to package aqueous preparations it contains basic oxide so it is not used to package pharmaceutical parenteral formulation which has ph less than 7 that is acidic formulation it will increase the ph of formulation and could affect the drug stability and potency if the formulation has ph less than 7 then it is acidic it will leach the basic oxides of the glass into the formulation and thus it can affect the drug stability and potency of the formulation the glass used to produce containers for eye preparation and other drop of bottles now here you can see it is drop of bottle it is used for eye preparation packaging type 3 it is containers which are untreated and made up of commercial soda lined glass so these are not treated with sulfur they contain comparatively high concentration of alkaline oxide and imparts alkalinity to uh, aqueous substances that is basic oxides are released into the aqueous substances and the flakes are separated easily from this glasses it is used only for solid dosage form and injection but only of oily types now this is the picture here you can see it is having a solid dosage form last type that is type non parenteral it is a general purpose soda lime glass these are made up of soda lime glass and only used for non parenteral purpose intended for oral or tropical use now here we are having this bottle which are used for ointments cream or uh, storing tablets now let's learn about evaluation of glass so according to ip that is indian pharmacopeia there are two types of tests first is hydrolytic resistance of glass container and second is arsenic test according to usp that is us pharmacopeia there are again two types of test first is powder glass test and second is water attack test and the other types of test on glass materials are thermal shock test internal bursting pressure test and lastly leakage test thank you